this is the biggest development for biomedical research in a generation, specifically because it's all housed in this one building in this one site. I'm Jim Smith, I'm from the National Institute for Medical Research in Mill Hill. I'm Richard Treisman, I'm Director of Cancer Research UK at London Research Institute, which is where we're standing. My lab is interested in the control of cell polarity and cell proliferation. We are trying to understand the atomic structure and the function of proteins which regulate inflammation and immune signaling. So we're interested in how the central nervous system of vertebrates develops before birth. In particular, we're interested in the spinal cord. We look at the activation of proteins that are responsible for driving cancers. At the moment, here, we are very, very tight for space. If you look around this lab, it's fairly cramped. Within the LRI, because of the confined nature of each of the labs, it can sort of inhibit the day-to-day -day interaction which could prove fruitful for research. Because our lab is uh, an isolated lab, it has the advantage of feeling like it's ours, but the disadvantage that we're really not very well connected to our neighbours. Well, I'm hoping there will be storage space, considerable storage space, considerable bench space, the depth of the bench, for instance. I think a lot of the, the good features of the lab's LRI, for example, the, the space people have, the shelving, the under-desk storage, are going to be retained. In this building, we're uh, limited somewhat by the overall architecture of the building. Whereas in the Crick Institute, it's designed as a lab rather than retrofitted as a lab space. It's so big that people find it hard to actually imagine the size of it. It's 170 metres from one end to the other. There are a lot of shared spaces in the Crick. One of the things that we're trying to do is to get people to mix together. It's very important you have bright colleagues, but you have to actually see them and meet them and inter interact with them. So what we've done is to open the lab structures out so that there are shared spaces that multiple labs will use. We put a lot of the administrative stuff into the middle to force people into the middle. We have support facilities scattered through the building in different places. So if you want to do cell sorting, you'll go to one area and bump into people that you otherwise wouldn't normally see. We hope to get an increased level of interaction between the scientists. So it's very important that in the Crick we have immunologists speaking to structural biologists, speaking to developmental biologists, and that they aren't confined within boxes for their labs, that they're able very easily to speak to each other. So the open labs we will have will allow that to happen. Or the way we'll interact, the way we'll move around the building, the way we'll have lunch, all that is made to make people interact with each other. I'm responsible for building this mock-up where we are at the moment and um, also have been responsible for getting feedback from the scientists that visited the mock-up to develop the product further. So first impressions were to be pleasantly surprised. It's sort of slightly difficult to really imagine what it's going to be like until we've all moved in and the lab is busy with people. This is a purpose-built building with science in mind. It's built specifically for science and the M&E, mechanical and electrical services and all other aspects of this building is extremely complex because of that. Underbench lighting is very important. In some areas you would need to have specific light for what you're doing in a particular place. And that is something that has been taken on board here. Yeah. The benches seem to be a lot you know, stable, like we required them to run centrifuges and use a microscope if a centrifuge is running. Many of the, I guess, the aspects of a normal lab have been carried over. There's lots of shelf space for scientists to store their equipment and consumables on. There's lots of under bench space for drawers, fridges and freezers. And there's also a nice big bench space for each scientist, a lot more than we currently have at the LRI. So in the new design, the programme leader offices have been moved to the corridor just adjacent to the write-up area. It's going to be a little bit of a change for me, but it isn't moving the PI offices a long way away from the labs. I think having the mock-up has been extremely helpful to really see how this is going to work in a practical setting. Some of the things I found extremely reassuring, for example, the primary lab space here looks 
very good and I think that's going to work very well. Things will work differently at the Crick from how they do currently at the LRI. So there will be a lot more interaction between labs, there'll be a lot more sharing of communal equipment and that's a different way of working. We've arranged it so that you can see right across the building that way and that way. It's all about seeing people I think actually, I hadn't quite realised until now but it's all about seeing people. What you will have in the Crick is about six or eight of these labs together in a little village and so that'll really create a little community of researchers. And then across the building as a whole, you'll have up to 100 or 120 labs. And that's really going to allow for a real critical mass in a whole range of different areas of science. This building is the biggest development for biomedical research in a generation. We are, I must say, very happy with the design of our building. Um, I've looked at many other places and I'm really pleased with what we've got. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great.